So here we are, Whistler, and here is my custom 2022 G180. As you can see, we've got a custom uh, paint job, which is super, super sick, with some nice graphics down the side as well. 27.5 bike, which is a bit more playful for a bike park, and you can throw the bike around more. So I'm gonna start from the ground up. So we've got a custom white wheel set, super, super strong, completely bomb proof. Haven't touched it all week and it's been perfect. We're then onto a Maxxis Asagai tire, which is pretty grippy, just a good double down sideball. So we're not trying to get to no punches really, which is super annoying. Hope 165 cranks, nice short cranks with then a seven speed cassette because you don't need 11 speed gears for your downhill bike. Straight onto a uh, a seat that you can clamp a bit more so it's a white owned seat obviously it's not a drop post you don't really need that on a downhill bike we're straight into an air shock for a bike park you want it a little bit more soft a little bit more playful so i've gone into the to the super deluxe um, air shock for that and then we've got a 200 mil rock shock boxer on the front so it's lovely and plush loads and loads of grip you can take all the big impacts as well Got some white fat grips, they're like my favourite ones, a slightly fatter profile, so really nice to grip in. We've got Shimano Saint brakes, so just a four pot solid brake that's really good, works really well. We've got uh, some custom Pembury pedals, which were actually the ones that we got custom made for Darkfest, so the whole bike is pretty much fully custom. There's not actually not one standard part on it, so <laughs> it's really, really sick and it's killed it all week in Whistler, so I'm really, really stoked on this bike. The only differences on this bike really compared to what we had at Darkfest is just that I've put an air shock on it and that's just making it a bit more enjoyable to ride on bumpier tracks like if I had the coil from Darkfest on here it'd be way too hard so this is really nice place to be super comfortable bike just perfect for, for Whistler Bike Park so in the rear shock I've got 200 psi and about halfway with rebound settings in the front, I've got three tokens in the boxer and then 90 PSI. So at Darkfest, I actually had 150 PSI. So I've dropped that down quite a considerable amount. And like I said, uh, at Darkfest, I had a 550 pound coil. So this is much more, more fun for, for Whistler. We've mainly been riding more of the jumpy tracks, especially like this one, which is D1, which is apparently the pro line in Whistler, and Dirt Merchant. However, I've been riding Goat's Gully, which is a really technical black. So the way that this bike's set up, it can literally ride everything and anything. So it's been absolutely perfect all week. I haven't touched anything the whole week, and it's just plowed for it. And we've been riding every single day. So I'm so stoked with the bike, how it's set up, and the colorway is absolutely amazing too. So I've really had a great time on this bike at Whistler.